be played. There's Jataka. Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water! The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert! What's stopping us from taking what we want? And now... <clears throat> Anyone else want to complain? We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. She's with me. Draka's not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. Your reputation has grown since I saw you last. Outlander. You took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. What do you need? You will find out soon enough. <laughs> so, this is the outlander that bested Regala. And now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. This water source, Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take it restores on its own, over time. A few weeks ago it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources, but everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water, and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself and... The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives, as a whole. Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. I can't promise anything, but if this wound was built by the Old Ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way.
You're not Karja. We're Oseram. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Oh, we used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. Machines. Those flowers. The crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. That mound. It looks like the metal from the wound. We really are following this trail. As I've been saying, the desert kills, but it also surprises. Pipe goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. It's a lot of machines. And a very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. as well I can.
salt water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been heading back to wherever he came from when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. But this green channel is such a place. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like that dead soldier tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. This is gonna do anything. The water's still leaking. I follow that main pipe. Gotta try something else. What do you need me to do? Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. Falling gently. It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get into Scalding Spear. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only oh this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. Looks like I can redirect the water with this thing. Maybe that'll bypass the leak. Switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Faster. Ah! I'm not getting up through there. It's leaking again. Whatever you did, undo it. Close that up again. I think this will work with water leaking through the other distribution system. That valve I saw earlier. Maybe I can use it to shut off water to those pipes.
The leaks disappeared. Making progress. Is it done? Not yet. I'm working on it. That pipe... looks like it bypasses the damage distribution system. Maybe I can find a way to reroute the water through it. Open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. <laughs> Sounds like that did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan worked. That should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. That fallen soldier. Come with me. I want to look upon the face of the coward who did this to our people. You know him? That... is one of Draka's men. <sighs> I should have known. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. Look, we don't know that for sure. <sighs> Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off.
put these in my pack. Thank you. Turn again, and we will trade. I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. But no Yara. What's going on? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force. Saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. The water's coming back, slowly. It'll take a while for it to be full, but at least it's something. And now Drak has seen it too. Nerve. You're one to talk? That doesn't sound good. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what, enough of this. No more words. Consider that a challenge. Gather your squads then, and meet us at the gate of the vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? What shut it off? No one knows. But it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. A 
The fighting could last for months. Those two scab heads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You took down the unyielding bulwark, fought off an assault of Regala's machines. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. There's sand in the desert. The Drock has been eyeing her command since he started running Arrowhand. Yeah, well, Yara's put down plenty of challenges. I could do that. Draka and Yara are already here. The truth of the visions were revealed by this outlander. You're here. Ah, the hero of the cool roots. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan, to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! 
Draka. You lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Not for once we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. This isn't about Draka conspiring against you, Yara. It's about your people. You lied to them about the wound. You also said their survival is all that matters. Was that a lie too? If it wasn't, then stand down. Give Draka a shot at command. It was no lie. Which is why I'll never hand over command to the likes of him. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Draka. Even numbers. I'll take no joy in fighting either of you. New rules! We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. They know I'm here. Oh boy, have I been looking forward to this. It's over. <laughs> well, you're gonna make me wait around? You didn't need to do that. 
Akaro didn't, and Regala bit him in the ass. <sighs> okay, so... What's the plan? The wound still doesn't have enough water for everyone. I'll gather the leaders from all the desert villages. We'll figure it out. For a second there, you sounded like a real commander. Your confidence is inspiring. Here, take this. My thanks for what you did here today. You didn't have to get involved. I won't forget what you did, Desert Flame. 